So the tab performance slip-ons, 225 lube. That was at 3,500, and then I revved it up to 4.8, and that's before. Well, when I was planning what to do with Grey Ghost, I was trying to figure out whether I'm gonna go stage one, stage two, should I keep factory warranty, shouldn't I? I went ahead and checked out with Harley. Yep, this is what I got. So this, is, this was my initial plan. My initial plan was to do stage one and stay within warranty. I don't know, lately I saw, I've seen, I've experienced a lot of uh, bikes that went to, you know, uh, voiding warranty, let's put it that way. And then uh, catastrophic engine failure, it happens. It just happens on any bike, it can happen. And then you're stuck with a brand new bike that you could have had a two year warranty and you just gave it away, just watch to, to gain a little bit more power. So I was gonna go a warranty so uh, and my plan was actually to to put slip-ons and maybe put a stage stage two a different cam in and a harley tuner a screaming eagle tuner when i went to harley they told me that actually the low rider st comes with the stage two with the torque uh, cam so there's no point in, in putting a different cam in because it already has the stage two cam. So at that point, I scrapped the whole idea. I decided I'm gonna be keeping my warranty for the two years. I'm just gonna put slip-ons. I have the heavy breather already. I'm not gonna change the tune. If I do wanna change the tune, it's gonna be a Screaming Eagle tuner, but I'm pretty much already there. I'm already at the, the proper tune, let's put it that way. Close enough, not making any major changes. But what I definitely need to change with this bike is the sound. The sound is literally like a sewing machine, which actually is somewhat pleasing, but I cannot be heard. And I'm missing that Harley feeling with it. So I've reached out to Tab Performance. I'm not gonna be checking uh, dynoing and checking power increase before and after because that's not the purpose. All I need is that aggressive, loud sound and Tab have beautiful sound now they have three different levels the, the the most obnoxious and strongest one is the zombie baffle i was too loud for me i'm not gonna go that route so i took the medium i think it's a 225 2.2 2.25 louvered baffle that's what i'm gonna be installing before and after let's do it <laughs> While I'm running back and forth from my garage to get my equipment to where the bike is right now, I'd like to, you know, thank Tab Performance for sending out sending out the slip-ons. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. They sent it out for me so I can make a video and show you the install and compare before and after. Let's uh, that's it. Thank you, Tab. Thank you so much for for helping out. Okay, let's start with removing the side side bags, the right side at least. Start with the top one. Remove this one, this bolt. Release like a, unscrew that uh, nut. So the slip slip on can be pulled back and obviously take these bolts out and then pull the whole thing out. What's nice about the tab, the tab, the tab slip ons are based on uh, using the current heat shield. So that reduces the price as well. So
forgot I got it with the angulated uh, ends, caps, end caps, nice and black. These are the 225 louvered back full. You know, medium uh, decibel sound range. I didn't want it to be too loud. So you guys, with a lot of struggle, I figured out this, the second bolt, they put it in such a position that you can insert it straight because it's touching the frame, the swing, like the swing arm over here. And if you go too low, it touches the pipe. So best thing to do is take the heat shield off and then you're able to manage, manage this over the pipe. Got that out that's what it got that's what it looks like these are the two place two bolts that went in as you see these two are at an angle so getting this one in it touches the swing arm let's put these bad boys on start with the lower that's it i'm done it took me i didn't have like the only problem was this friggin bolt where there was very difficult access otherwise easy peasy let me show you what it looks like nothing much you can't really see because it's behind the heat shield but this is what you can see these beautiful tips now let's do the uh, sound check Take the bike out for a little uh, test ride. Listen to these pipes. How about these cool goggles? Retro, retro. <laughs>
So the tab performance slip-ons, 225 louvered baffle with the swirly, majiggly tips. Not sure what they're called. I'll put it right here on the top. Beautiful. Thank you so much, tab. Great improvement. The sound finally feeling like a real Harley and not a sewing machine. Hope you enjoy this one. I'm Sandy. Okay, guys, I'm such a dummy. As I was, as I was going out to throw all the leftovers of garbage, I separated the metals from the cardboard and look what I found on the bottom. <laughs> My plan was initially to, to be with the hat, with the hat on the whole time, the whole video. That's what I asked them for a hat. So they were nice, got me a nice hat. I need to iron it out because it was all folded. Yeah.